Hey friends, it's May back again, making progress on her journey north. This channel gives you an insight to living full-time aboard a narrowboat in the UK as a solo boater. This week is an exciting milestone, as I usually turn around in Marston and Dolls and head back to Banbury. But not today. I'm heading down nine locks to Napton to spend a bit of time in one of my favourite villages in Warwickshire. Ropes snap, it gets sweaty, and I'm on a mission to dodge the storm. Don't forget to subscribe for more May on the Move, and if you have any questions, please share them in the comments below. Enjoy! I'm on a bit of a mission today. I'm going to get down nine locks, or at least try to, before the rains begin. And yeah, completely on my own. Oh, wait. <laughs> I'm not leaving my key. That looks about even. But I have absolutely smashed my way up here because I'm going further than I've ever been before. Anyway, during that January, this is the exact location where my engine went kaput and my gearbox decided that it wasn't gonna work without oil anymore. And I don't blame it. No one should treat a gearbox in that way. But obviously as the beginner, naive um, person I am when it comes to engines, or at least I have been, definitely a lot better than I used to be. I didn't know that was the problem. <laughs> I didn't know I drained all the oil. Yeah, so can't believe how different it looks up here. It's so green and lush and lush, lush and lush. But in about five minutes, we are officially, both Dorf and myself, are gonna be past 
our northern point. As soon as we get into that next lock, we have been further than we've ever been before. Someone's just coming out the lock. This is always so awesome when that happens. Don't close the gate! Keep it open! I've never done a solo down lock before and I've just had a thought and an idea that if I drain the water and then have to pull the boat back from the gate to open the front gates and then I could walk the boat out rather than get on the boat, drive the boat out and then walk back up to close the gates. It saves climbing down those, those little step things. wait for it if you look closely the rope is about to snap Okay, I'm not going to be able to test that theory because my rope just snapped. I'm really glad that did that, that snap now in a lock that was pretty chill and didn't require me to pull her away from the sill urgently because that could have been bad.
two more to go. Oh my god. that wrong now I have two more but apparently there's a volunteer at the bottom one which is good Keep that open just to let the engine cool down. I mean a real soft spot for Napton. We've got an awesome pub here called the Folly. They do open mic nights, which I have some at once. And they've got a cute little village shop that sells such lovely produce. And I'm in Napton. <laughs> Me and the boat. We're in Napton. Oh my God, I'm so hungry. I'm almost delirious. Looks like me gas thing needs changing. I've got a system here that automatically switches the gas over when it's 
run out but then you just don't know when it's run out so this one is now off and closed and empty and then this one is now on and i know i need to fill this up homemade wild garlic pesto the last of it much needed big lunch I'm officially in pastures new and it feels so good thank you to all those who have supported the channel recently I'll get around to reading out a special thank you soon but for now have a beautiful rest of your day and I'll see you next time when I officially move off the South Oxford Canal see you again soon